After finishing his degree in arts and design at Virginia Commonwealth University, James Young decided to draw out his own life, literally, and became a full-time illustrator. His career choice turned out to be a masterpiece. Young was one of the first Asian Americans in his industry and has received over 250 awards for his design and illustrations. His work has been featured in the Washington Post, American Illustration, and ESPN Magazine, along with a collection of children's books. I spent a lot of my career doing illustration by painting, and then at some point the career was going great, but I felt like a creative ceiling with what I could accomplish in painting. So that's why I hopped over to the computer, because it's an infinite device. You know, you can save many different versions of your thing along the way. Ironically, it helped me to become more creative. Once Photoshop had layers, it was like, oh wow, it's actually just an infinite silkscreen. So then I could wrap my brain around it. Around it. It's definitely affected how I did the process of creating an image. So even when I go back to painting for some gallery shows or stuff, the way I build the painting now is almost the way I would build the image in Photoshop. But you know, every illustrator goes through this. You have a couple quiet days and then suddenly the most amazing project will come through. Like one time the German embassy asked me if I would design a bus for them in DC and I'm like, what, you want like a little drawing for the bus? And they're like, no, we want you to illustrate the whole bus. And then another time the Smithsonian called and asked me if I'd be interested in designing a sculpture. And I'm like, well, I don't really design them. And they're like, um, yeah, just do one of your paintings and we'll turn it into a giant sculpture. And that was really funny because it goes, it's for a temporary exhibit. And now I ask, well, how long's the exhibit? And they go, 25 years. <laughs> for, for them, that's a temporary exhibit. So that's the fun part. You never know who you're gonna get a call from. Sometimes it's a very strange job you don't think you're gonna like, and it turns out to be so much fun. So this was like an issue about cities of the future. And then just how cities can be designed to integrate with present. You know, like how do you integrate the present with the future here? Mm -hmm. So you're showing like it's almost not really Yeah, not, it's... and it's a little bit of a fantasy thing too. They wanted me to catch sort of a Jetsons kind of appeal to make it a little bit fun also. So it's always like, we're creating the infrastructure of tomorrow. Mm -hmm, yeah. Everybody always thinks ideas are just this inspiration thing, but it's like anything else as a process. If I'm stumped with an assignment or project, I will literally draw the most boring, literal, literal way that I can draw that problem. And for some reason, getting that out of my system and looking at it just sort of makes, gets the brain jump started. And it's like, A, I hate this thing I just drew and then B, my brain's already, and I'm sure most people, it's not just me, their brains go to like, there is definitely a better way to do this. So then that's when their creative stuff starts happening. I do do it pretty well, it looks like the way I draw different characters and people, but it would be nice to uh, push that even further. You know, to explore like, are there more ways I could draw the face, or more ways that I can draw characters. I feel like I could definitely, it's something I'm interested in, and it's something that I haven't probably pushed as much as I should. To draw more inspiration from James' work, visit his website, jamesyan.com. For more information from Sinovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sinovision.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Yi Xie.